Hello everyone. Uh, in the past I already made a video about how to study skills correctly and I'll put the description, uh, it will be link in the description below. It's really worth to watch, especially if you're gonna use some tips from this uh, video. And uh, I know I looked a bit odd and weird in my um, early videos because I was scared of the camera and uh, yet I really like the information that is in those videos. So if you could ignore my look, my voice and just pay attention to information directly, um, then it's worth to watch. Anyway, so in this video today I'll share with you uh, tips for strengthening your finger muscles and tendons, for evenness and independence of fingers, and for speed in scales. Um, basically, speed comes from three aspects of play. From uh, First, from ability to feel fast, to control fingers in fast tempo with our inner sensations. Uh, meaning not pressing a key and afterwards notice unevenness of the sound that's called an accident, but control it by giving the right impulse to the finger muscles right before pressing a key. And that impulse is originated in our imagination, in our intonation, in other words, in our inner sensations. Second. Um, speed comes from the skills of dropping, releasing tension in muscles while playing to let muscles breathe, because phrasing is the art of breathing and it will let you drop tension with exhalation and start um, a new wave of tension with the next inhalation and that will keep hand muscles in a healthy tension. And lastly, which we're going to mostly talk about today, from, uh, speed comes from the strength and evenness of uh, every finger to better and easier control finger muscles. Because even if we can imagine fast, but muscles are not strong enough, uh, tendons are not strong enough, we couldn't convey our ideas um, very well. So everything should be uh, balanced. <laughs> and strengthening and even finger muscles are preparatory stage for speeding up Without it, no matter how fast you move your fingers, you could never play scales with good quality. Well, I guess you all know about that. Maybe you already know uh, from my hand and exercise video that playing slowly only with forte and of course correct hand movements and arm weight will strengthen your fingers very well. Uh, and again, just like in a hand exercises, of course, you can simply imagine right hand up and left hand down, but you will feel much more balanced when you imagine both hands. So when you have a little break, you know, you're practicing, you feel your hands a bit uh, overwhelmed, take a break away from the piano and start training your inner ear. Um, and after a week or so, you will definitely hear both notes even in your mind. So you would go, for example, if you play C major scale, in your imagination, left, left. So start sequentially, seal it together, and here you go. You can imagine both hands up and down, away from the piano. And of course, when you're ready, you just uh, get a weight and start playing uh, while imagining every note in a good resonant forte before touching a key. <laughs> and um, imagine every note before touching a key and internally sing in between notes. So. So here is a trick. Uh, unevenness in fast tempos, unevenness of fingers in fast tempo might occur sometimes between um, second and first and fourth and third fingers in the right hand down and the same fingers left hand up. 
um, when basically first or third finger attaching keys too fast. For example, if I play slowly. Actually, it's very easy to play on your own. <laughs> so when you learn how to control those intervals in fast tempos, you will succeed. Now, for sure, you can have different fingers and intervals to work on, as well as different hands. Just pay attention and listen attentively which interval sounds faster than others. Of course, for this case, you need to play in a more or less fast tempo, you know something like this maybe to find out it if you have for example digital piano you can simply record it or whatever use your iphone record it you know if you can't really play and focus and like kind of listen yourself from outside just record it and then play later on and really feel which fingers which notes uh, faster than others so for example i know that my right hand is okay much problem but in my left hand always um, for example if I go up my second and third fingers are usually not well controlled so uh, meaning over here I play fast and over here so towards my third finger and towards my second finger up and uh, when, I, when I go down towards my second finger and fourth finger so here I will play uh, exaggerated pulse like Probably this, after the keynote, like those. Okay, yeah. Again, exaggerating. So, uh, this is what I'm going to actually work today. And the way to control those intervals is through feeling more tension between those problematic notes. Uh, through intonation, of course. Uh, and um, music of speech would also make it uh, felt even more profound and intense. So if you could also sing with musical speech, it would be even better. Something like this. Uh, so when I intonate better, basically how it works, when I intonate better, the finger would lift a bit more and um, so it won't be too fast. I kind of came to this conclusion while analyzing how it works just now. So it would just lift a little bit, maybe um, with more tense and a little bit higher. So that's how we even our fingers. Um, also, sin is kind of related here. Keep in mind that shifting your torso, don't forget to move your torso while playing. Especially when you go up, sometimes you, you know, might tend to keep your torso here. And that's not good for the balance and also even as a finger. So don't forget every octave, a little bit move your torso to the right. Let's say when you play um, every, for example, first, third note in the scale. So on E, you would move a little bit up and on A, a little bit down. It's really much easier to play this way than this way. So here's what you could do. First, fix the mistake in a slow tempo. Uh, of course, when you're gonna work here, you can imagine and play softly. And uh, I suggest to start working with two octaves at a time, with a problematic hand first and then both hands. So this is how it looks like. For example, let's go from here to here, on the left hand. First of all, you would want to sing out loud. Okay, so it's like instruction right now, instructions, guys. So sing out loud, uh, emphasizing, of course, those intervals that we need with musical speech. Uh, Every time we sing, we sing with movement, try to sing with glissando, with good intonation, um, of course. Now sing and play. Then 
then sing internally. Sing internally, please. And let yourself a little bit exaggerate, maybe take more time, whatever, to make you feel more comfortable. And when you're ready, kind of play both hands. Now, now we're kind of ready for speeding up, and after you master it basically in slow tempo, start training yourself to intonate the same way in faster tempos, like uh, still manage to catch this interval in fast tempos, because if you can't intonate in fast tempo, you can't control your playing in fast tempo of this. When speeding up, you should always apply phrasing and time, just like I showed in my past video, and of course, those exaggerated in your intonation intervals would become more smooth, um, like under the wave of the phrase. So gradually start bringing the section to the craziest tempo you probably never dared to play before. That's the main point of this exercise. And keep in mind to always check on tension in hands and take some breaks you know, while practicing. So, um, after you finish, for example, working with two octaves, uh, go to another oct two octaves and another two octaves and practice to do the same with four octaves and then do the same all the way up and down. So now uh, the best part of the tutorial, I just want to show you from the beginning to the end how it would look like if you practice at home. So let's go. practice would look like and uh, then you go like I said to another next two oxys and maybe next day you practice by four and next day all the way up and down and that really works that's why I'm sharing with you so <laughs> go ahead and try all right that's about it see you soon bye bye <laughs>